do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so earlier we have derived an equation based on arrhenius uh, theory and now we are going to solve a numerical based on that so let us see how can we solve it so as on your screen it is mentioned a numerical which is based on arrhenius equation so let us see what is the question the question says the half life of the first order reaction is 900 minute at 820 kelvin so we have to estimate its half life at 720 kelvin if the energy of the activation is 250 kilojoule per mole so first of all the thing that we should do is yes we should extract the data from the given question and should fulfill the requirement so first of all let us find out the data but for that we have a formula also for activation energy based on Arrhenius equation that is log of k2 divided by k1 which is equals to ea that is activation energy divided by 2.303 into r into t2 minus t1 divided by t1 and t2 so this t2 and t1 are the temperature that has been uh, allotted so as to find the rate constant of the reactions so for this instance we know the value of t1 as which is 820 kelvin and that of t2 is 720 kelvin and what else we know is we know the energy of activation which is 250 kilojoule per mole but for a better thing we convert this into joules so this will be 250 into 10 raised to 3 joules per mole so what we have to do is we have to substitute this value so as to get the value of log of k2 divided by k1 and then only with the help of that we could find out the half life of the given requirement so let us substitute this equation by the following values we will get log of k2 divided by k1 this is what we have to find the value of ea is given as 250 into 10 raised to 3 divided by the value 2.303 into r r is the gas constant which has a value of 8.314 the value of t2 is 720 while the value of t1 is 820 the whole divided by 720 into 820 so let us do a calculation based on this so what we will get So we'll get 250 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 2.303 into 8.314 into minus the value of this was found to be 1 minus 1.693 into 10 raised to minus 4. So because of which this 10 raised to minus 3 and this 10 raised to minus 4 when equated with each other had produced a value of 10 raised to minus 1. So what we have to do is we have to multiply this two equations that is minus 250 into 1.693 the whole divided by 2.303 into 8.314 so let us see what will be the value of this one so the value of this was found to be 
minus 22.105 into 10 raised to minus 1 which is nothing but minus 2.2105 so th this is the value of log of k2 divided by k1 that we have got but we have to calculate the value of k2 divided by k1 so how can we do it we can do it by applying the anti log on it so therefore the log of k2 divided by k1 which was found to be minus 2.2105 can be written as k2 divided by k1 anti log of minus 2.2105 2105 which would give you an answer that is 6.158 into 10 raised to minus 3 so this is the value of k2 divided by k1 that we have got so with the help of this how can we calculate the value of half life as we know the value of half life is dependent on the rate constant and for a first order reaction as you know the rate constant is k is equals to 0.693 divided by t half so we can relate this equation as k2 divided by k1 since the, it is inversely proportional to each other therefore this can be written as t half divided by t half but for k2 it will be the reverse of or it will be the inversely proportional to the t half therefore this k2 will have the t half here while that of k1 will have a t half here so let us substitute the value of the t half that has been given to us so the value of k2 divided by k1 is given as 6.158 so we will substitute this value over here and the t half value is already provided to us that is 900 minutes so let us substitute these values therefore it will give us 6.158 into 10 raised to minus 3 which will be equal to 900 minute divided by the t half that we should calculate now the t half for the second reaction or the condition that they have provided will be so let us calculate this one this has given a value 146.15 into 10 raised to 3 so this has given a value which is found to be 146. Point. So this has given a value 146.15 into 10 raised to 3, but the unit of this would be in minutes. So therefore, the unit will be 146.150 into 10 raised to 3 minutes. So this is the t half that we have calculated. So after this, we have calculated the t half. So this is how we calculate that we have calculated the value of the rate constants that is k2 divided by k1 based on Arrhenius theory in which the activation energy was provided. And based on that, we have calculated the t half also. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have understood how to calculate this kind of numerical so please don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much